Tony D and Little Joan just off camera, and this is a screenwriter's rant on The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snake. Uh, I'm going to hate this, so just be warned. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys books 1 through 11. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, <laughs> Kindle Unlimited is free. I don't like the Hunger Games. I didn't even like the good movie, and I saw that one. Uh, so, be warned. Um, I hate prequels on top of that. Prequels, I think, are stupid. They're usually completely unnecessary and dumb. Uh, they don't add a whole lot. I think this is about the Woody Harrelson character that's in the later movies, or chronologically, the first movie. Um... And it's, a, it's the same damn movie. It's the same damn movie, essentially. Essentially, when you boil it down. Oh, it's terrible. But young people can save us. Young people fighting to the death. They'll save us with their, with their uh, volatile romance. And Peter Dinklage as the old guy. I mean, God, this looks so stupid. <laughs> it looks so brain dead. The entire trailer. I know. Some of you are like, I love the Hunger Games. You don't know what you're talking about. I read the books and this follows the books exactly. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I don't care. This this is not a movie franchise. It's an episode of the Twilight Zone or Star Trek. And that's what it used to be back in the day. It used to be an episode of a TV show. What if the world was like this? And you could do it in a half hour. You could do it in an hour, certainly. You could do it in a half hour. It's not that hard. Uh, you don't have to drag it out. Oh, the thing that changed everything in the Hunger Games. No, changed nothing. It's, it's in my view, stupid, dumb. Peter Dinklage. I mean, you were slumming it enough at the end of Game of Thrones. Now you're now this is this the best they can give for Peter Dinklage, who I think is a good actor. Jason Schwartzman's in it. For some reason, another good actor. I hate to see good actors and stuff like this. I think it's just schlock. That's all it is. Uh, here's the original Hunger Games up in the right-hand corner. To rent. Ugh. It, it is. Twilight Zone. Outer Limits. Whatever. Oh, if we had a nuclear war and then we had to... Oh, we divided all the country up into districts, and then we sent children to fight on our behalf in gladiatorial games to distract the populace. Blah, 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 blah. It's not that complicated. You could do a hundred of Hunger Games, hundred variations on it. It would be better than just keep doing this. Oh, let's explore the Hunger Games more and what it was like. There's nothing to explore here. Look, they did the prequel to Star Wars. One of the biggest franchises in movie history, and they could barely make that work. Yeah, I made a lot of money. From a creative standpoint, I don't think it worked. Prequels rarely work. I can't think of a single example of a prequel I really liked all that much. Nah. Nah. Stupid. Maybe, maybe you could argue The Hobbit? But they had already done The Hobbit as a movie. And The, and the Hobbit's a classic. Is this a classic? Talk to me in 50 years. Um, it, it, it doesn't even seem to focus on the on the girl in this. Who's, uh, what's her name? Zegler? I think her name's Zegler. Is that her name? Uh, yeah, Rachel Zegler. This is the chick from uh, Woke Side Story. <laughs> Movie that got, got S-canned by everyone. Fans, the Oscars. <laughs> I still don't know why they made that movie. Um, you know, Peter Dinklage seems to be the big name. Viola Davis is in it for some reason because they're putting everybody in. Uh, Viola Davis gets to be in everything right now. Jason Schwartzman, who deserves better. At least he's got a Wes Anderson movie coming out. Uh, but the, uh, look, it looks exactly like the original Hunger Games. I think you could take scenes from all the Hunger Games movies and cut them in together with different people and different lines, it would kind of be the same movie. <laughs> um, it just, you know, it's just too much. Too much, not enough story. That's the problem.
This isn't an epic thing. This isn't like Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is epic. It's got so much in it. You know? You look at the final battle. Uh, or or the, the middle battle in the Lord of the Rings. That's when they add like all the crazy elephants. You just come out of nowhere. And you see these elephants like, whoa, look at those guys. Where'd they come from? And it builds and builds and builds until you get that final battle. This is not that. It's just like, what are you going to see here? Oh, that's how they did it. Oh, that's that's why they did that. It's like you're trying to go backwards in the payoffs. The payoffs are supposed to be a surprise. It's not a payoff to find out, I don't know, how, uh, how the Hunger Games got its name or why they do X and Y and Z. That's not a payoff. It's different when they did it, say, on The Simpsons after it ran for 25 years and they started doing payoffs like that. Like, oh, here's the origin of, you know, this or that. They had built up a credibility, at least. Now it's, I think it's mostly gone. But this this has not built up the credibility. They, they just assume it has that because it had a bit of a following as a book. I don't know. Is the, I, I assume this was a book. You should have started with the first book. Why not start with the first book? Why not do them in order? Why go backwards in time? Oh, right. Because the Hunger Games, they, it's, all, it's all done. You can't keep doing the same movie over and over again. How everybody's oppressed and there's an evil authoritarian government and we overthrow it. You can't keep doing it. Because the over authoritarian government gets overthrown. You have to create a new uh, uh, thing. And that's my problem with uh, doing these movie franchises. Hey, look. I'm sure the book is readable. I'm sure it's fine. Here, I'm going to put you down, Joe. Um, you know. And it's a little different as a book. You know, for book readers. Yeah, there's, a, there's an audience there. For moviegoers? I mean, also, too, the, the first movies came out 11 years ago. You know, the kids who read this book, are they, like, clamoring to go to the movies? Right? So if you were a kid and you re read the books when you were, like, a teenager, and then a few years later they came out with the movies in 2012, and now you're in your late 20s, are you clamoring to go see the prequels? How many people is that? I just, I'm so done with this stuff. It's young adult fantasy stuff. Yeah, I get it. High school. It's high school stuff, really. And at least the high school stuff, at least the 80s stuff that took place in a high school, at least that's relatable. This, you can get away with it in one movie. Simply because of the age of the people and it's kind of like high school, but... There's no world here to explore that's big enough. And Hollywood can't drill down very well anymore anyway. Maybe in the 70s this would have been cool. Maybe. Maybe. Because at least in the 70s they wouldn't have all this CGI and all these fabulous costumes and spend all this insane amounts of money to give you this spectacle and then ignore the story. Because they would have been forced to drill down into the story and make it good. They're not forced to do that anymore. They don't need. They give you bells and whistles. Ding, 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 ding. I was going to shake my keys. Oh, here they are. Shiny keys. I, I, who cares? Hunger Games. Is this is this what you're into? I guess. Young people. Oh, I'm in love with you, but I might die. No, oh, you're the hero of the movie. You're not dying. Oh, but that guy died. Yeah, we saw that guy die in a mile away. And this is, this will be the guy who's the drunk, I guess. I, I, I just don't get it. But you say what you want. I, I am too old for this. <laughs> I am too old. Remember that episode of South Park where Stanley's parents gets divorced and everything suddenly you used to like just sounds like crap? Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Um, but if this was good... I swear to you, I would like it. I, I just don't see any good here. I just see a, another one of these Hollywood IPs being propped up, uh, being slathered with another coat of paint saying, Ah, 
Yeah. Remember. Remember, Berries. Jason Swartman. I, 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 you know. And look. Actors in Hollywood got to work. They got to maintain a fabulous lifestyle, I guess. I, I, There's no way in hell I would see this. You couldn't pay me to see this movie. It's not for me. Uh, you know, it's up to you. You can listen to my advice or not. I mean, but if you if you go see this and then go, oh, you know, that wasn't that great. That's on you. That's on you because you keep supporting this stuff. These mediocre, endless repeats and franchises over and over again. Stop supporting them. Stop watching them. If you don't want bad sequels, if you don't want bad Marvel movies, if you don't want bad this or bad that, stop supporting them. Stop going, well, maybe it'll get better. No, don't give them that. They spend millions of dollars. There's no excuse for this movie to suck, and I bet it does. I bet it's awful. I bet it's barely watchable. For the millions of dollars they spent, I bet they could have spent a tenth of it, and it would have been just as watchable. Just as good. They could have made a hotel movie for like $2 million. I bet they could have made it. I bet it would be better. I bet it would be better without all the money and special effects. Because, again, they'd be forced to make something in the script that's worth a damn. Not just a bunch of set pieces of people walking around and, you know, like they're royalty. Like we should, oh, there's Viola Davis. Oh, there's Peter Dinklage, everyone. Oh, look. Oh, there's that character from the previous movie that I'm so into. No. Nah. Nah, this is solo for the Hunger Games, I think. It's just my opinion. Anyhow, I'm out. That's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us in out in Odyssey, Bit Shoot, and Rumble for my more base take. If you can find a more base take, <laughs> take it. Uh, I'll be doing the live stream on Sunday if you want to yell at me for what I said today. <laughs> Come on by. Live streams at 7. Many have tried. If you have succeeded in yelling at me, they, they usually don't have a point. Uh, or you could just ignore me, as many, 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 many people do. Um, what else? What else? More videos tomorrow. Uh, so we'll see you in the next one.